Much of science involves doing slight variations on things that have been done before, and, and that's just not my style. I tell my students that the biggest danger in research is not tackling too hard a problem, it's tackling too easy a problem. When I first started learning about biology, I was amazed by all the miraculous proteins that have evolved that do all these absolutely amazing things. And it's truly exciting now to be able in the lab to design brand new proteins. We've been studying the beautiful diversity in nature, distilling fundamental principles, then incorporating those principles into our computer program and our scientific procedures. And this now lets us build new custom proteins to solve modern day problems. Since proteins do so many different things in nature, there are many different applications for brand new proteins. Many of them are in medicine. For example, fighting infectious disease like the coronavirus, making better vaccines, things like a universal flu vaccine, fighting cancer, inflammatory disease, neurodegenerative disease. So the applications are in medicine, environment, energy, and materials. We know from nature that proteins can solve really, really complicated problems. So the key is not any one application, but really the core technology and the many different applications that can come out. My group and the IPD, we have been pretty relentless about trying to keep innovating. So once we've learned how to do something, we don't keep doing it. We move on to the next problem. I think that's very important for scientific progress. I like mountain climbing, but Mountains have been climbed before. I've climbed many of them already, but every new scientific challenge that I and my group take on and solve is like climbing a brand new mountain and we never run out. There's always the next challenge.